10 News reporter Jessica Chan is there with the family's message. Well, the family held the event here because they say it was Nicholas's favorite park. In fact, he learned how to surf in the water behind me here. Well, today the family unveiled a scholarship in his name in hopes of keeping his memory alive. You know, our life is uh, just turned up down. He was like the light of our life before. Conrad Leslie says it's still so painful. We'll never see his graduation. We'll never see him get promoted, never see a wedding, and we'll die alone. Thinking that his only child, Nicholas Leslie, gone. Every morning I, I wake up and the first thing that goes in my head is like, my son is dead. But Conrad says he's been finding solace coming back to this park in Del Mar, his son's favorite. Our last adventure in this particular beach was when we went scuba diving at midnight on lobster opening day. It's also where the family announced the Nicholas Leslie Memorial Scholarship today. It'll be given out to seniors at Torrey Pines High School, his alma mater. Our children do have an opportunity to change the world. Now, that night, Conrad Leslie gave a speech while his wife Paula sat quietly. Very great son and we're going to miss him so much forever. Nicholas grew up in Del Mar and was attending UC Berkeley. He was just 20 years old, studying abroad when he was killed in the Nice Bastille Day terror attack. He didn't suffer. So that's what I want them to know, that he had a smile on his face and he was looking up and he felt on top of the world. Conrad says he's found comfort knowing Nicholas didn't feel pain. He's also finding comfort that in some way his son's memory will last. We feel that it's important to share our story, share the story about Nick. Now for those who want to help, they can do so by writing a check to the Torrey Pines High School Scholarship Fund and writing Nicholas Leslie's name on it. In Del Mar, Jessica Chen, 10 News. Right now the search is on.